Hi everyone and welcome to another video. It has been a while and I thank you for your patience. But coming up soon is my third attempt at getting to the geographic centre of New Zealand's North Island. I live in Monganui. If we turn the roads on, we can see where I'll be heading. We'll be heading up State Highway 4 and going up the Parapara Scenic Highway as far as Fields Track. Due to a recent massive landslide, the road has been cut off and a news report on this will follow at the end of the video. The road has completely slid down the hill to the Ruakawa River below. As you can see here, the whole hillside has moved downward. This is the same road as my default stress relief ride videos. But we'll be going up Fields Track, which is a very tight and windy road, linking back to the road between Ohakuni and Wairu. From Wairu, we'll be heading up State Highway 1 through the desert road past the mountains to Turangi. From Turangi, we'll be going past the bottom of Lake Taupo to Western Bay Road. Up the western side of Lake Taupo to Whakamaru Road. Where we will turn off and go to Pakanui Road. Turn off again from Pakanui Road, we'll be going to Aratiki Road. At Aratiki Road, we'll be turning left. Now, this road becomes a forestry road where we will park. Now, I'm riding a road bike and once again going to the most inappropriate places to the geographic centre of New Zealand's North Island. There's concerns tonight it could take years to rebuild a 400 metre stretch of road between Whanganui and Ratahi after a slip caused it to completely collapse in both directions. Now, if you're watching, the pictures of the slip are quite extraordinary and dramatic. They're similar to a broken road at the epicentre of an earthquake. The paraparas on State Highway 4 are now closed from south of Ratahi to the field tracks intersection for the foreseeable future. Now, that means drivers will face detours of up to an hour to get to Ratahi from Whanganui and the reverse. Tom Cloak is the National Road Carrier's CEO. He went as far as he could along the road this afternoon and he told me it looked like a bomb had gone off. What's happened is the piece of road has completely been, the slip has taken the road completely out. Um, there's no way you can see even where the road was or is. Um, it's taken it completely, it's gone, completely gone. It's like a bomb's gone off and, and the road's just gone. There's no, no visual sight of the road except halfway down the hill there's a couple of road cones stuck in the middle of it. So we're talking about State Highway 4 here, Tom? State Highway 4, that's the road between Monganui and Ratahi. So um, a great tourist route as well. Is it both sides of the road and where's it slid completely, off to? The road has completely gone. The road's gone into the river. Um, as a whole slip has gone into the river, it would be on estimate probably about 200 to 250 metres wide and it just looks like a hill with just nothing on it. There's no remnants of the road left at all. It's just a, a cold face. You go to the end of the end of the face, and there's a, a big, uh, probably 20 metre drop, um, and there was the road. There's just a face. And I've only seen the southern side, not the northern side. I couldn't get to the northern side today, um, but I'm told the northern side's the, the same. There's just nothing, nothing left. So what happened? Did you just wake up and it was gone, or did it happen over a period of time? No, there started cracks uh, um, in the road on Monday, and um, by Wednesday they, they closed the road. The cracks started getting really big and closed the road. Thursday it started to worsen, and last night um, the road went completely. So thank goodness it happened fairly quickly, and the road was closed because we could have lost somebody on the, on the slope. So it's a lucky break that someone wasn't seriously injured or killed with this? Very, very, very lucky. And unfortunately the fix is, is going to be a long time, so that's going to have a huge in, 
uh, economic impact into the Wanganui, Radahi, King Country area. Huge impact. And not only that, this, um, it's the, the link, the quickest link for uh, medical um, and emergencies. So to get round it um, for heavy vehicles, especially is another hour. And they've got a light vehicle track, which they call Fields Track, only suitable really for light vehicles. Um, but today there's not many of those people using that track, so I'm, I would imagine that most people are using State Highway 1. OK, so for people who are unfamiliar, this road, State Highway 4, goes from Wanganui up to Ohauakuni, right? So, uh, how... Radahi, goes yeah. to Radahi. Yeah, and how, how many trucks would be on there of a day? Oh... Uh... Look, I, I I don't know. It, it, it is a service centre. It is a service route, um, and there's a lot servicing that rural community. Plus, some coming servicing from the north to the south as well into Wanganui. So the economic impact to to uh, service that area now is going to be huge, and it's going to be huge going forward because there's really nothing suitable to uh, you know a, a short alternative route. Is this is is this another Manawatu Gorge situation we've got on our hands then? Um, I wouldn't like to go that far. It's, it's, there's going to have to be looked at a lot of options. Um, and my gut feeling is that where the road is at the moment, I, I don't believe it's repairable. So there'll have to be probably an alternative uh, option to, to bypass it. So you don't think they can just patch or rebuild the section that's gone west, that they'll have to reroute the road around that part? I've seen a lot of slips in my time and been on a lot of these uh, type of experiences over the years, um, and I think this is probably one of the worst I've seen. You say you reckon it's going to take a bit of um, time to get it done. What do you reckon? How long? I, I'm not prepared to put a figure on, but let's say we'll be talking not months. We won't be talking months. So weeks to get it fixed, do you think, or many months? Um, we'll probably start using that word years. Wow. Well, what's that going to mean for the communities there? That's going to have a huge economic impact. Um, and even, you know, the families getting their children to school, um, you know, it's now another hour plus to get them to school where they were sort of 20 minutes away. Um, so it's a huge pack on families um, just doing their daily business. So the economic uh, impacts are going to be huge, not only to the King Country region, but also the Wanganui area as well. So It's going to have a huge impact. Is that going to make everything that's delivered more expensive as well? Because that's more petrol and more time too. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about, the economic impact. Um, and the freight's only a small part of it, but it's just the social impact as well. Um, yes. You know, social and economic. So, basically, if you're talking about Ratahi, it's, while it's not completely cut off, this is going to really lessen the through traffic and the business that may come from that. Oh, it's not only that, it's also the business going into the ski fields as well, into Hawakuni and places like that. It's going to make it far more difficult, especially from people coming from, say, Taranaki and would use the power power, now they've got to get up to State Highway 1. So, you know, it's adding probably another hour onto their journey to, to go and have some uh, rest and recreation time. So it's all those sorts of things as well. So, you know, I mean, the, the King Country is a great tourist spot and it's going to have an impact on that. We're probably lucky in one respect, the road has gone out, which creates urgency. Um, so therefore I would imagine the Transport Agency will give it full urgency because there is no road left. So in one respect, it's probably lucky that it has gone completely rather than a slip down to one lane or something like that. So Tom, have you so picked it? It does have create urgency. Have you been on the phone, Tom, talking to what politicians in NZTA or, or, or anyone that you can um, rally around? Oh, no, well, we've been talking to the agency and that's why we went up to have a look today and that conversation will go on again next week. Um, and we're just hopeful, the, well, especially the, the politicians in the King Country and in Wanganui will, will do some decent lobbying for their constituents because they need to. Now's the time to stand up and be counted. Tom Cloak there and those pictures of the road. We'll put them up on our Checkbook, Checkpoint Facebook page and also the RNZ website. 
Oh, <laughs> my